everybody. It is time to do an oil change on my 2000 Cobra R. I've had this car since 2015. I've only done one oil change on it right when I got it. It's time to change oil on this thing. I bought it with 750 miles. It now has almost double that, 1,400 miles. Uh, oil changes on these cars are pretty straightforward, but I'm gonna walk you through and show you how to do it. Here we go. Talking about uh, lifting the 2000 Cobra R. Uh, so a bit of a challenge uh, if you're using a two post lift because of the side exhaust. I've got the uh, Bassani aftermarket side exhaust, but uh, basically the exhaust covers the uh, pinch weld lift point. So you gotta get creative. The Bassani is in a slightly different uh, space than the original Borla, but uh, I'm behind it in the pinch weld. Uh, back here, you might have to go in front of it, um, depending on your lift and uh, how you got the car spaced. But I uh, got the front and the pinch weld there. Uh, next up is uh, the drain plug. I've got the engine warmed up, and this is a 19 millimeter. I've already got it loosened. Um, so there we go. Drain out the oil. So let's talk about where you find uh, the oil change information other than obviously in this video. But uh, if you have the black binder, uh, which hopefully everybody has this for their car, uh, instantly that's the uh, uh, illustration sheets from the engineering uh, diagrams from when the car was produced. An internal uh, booklet there, um, not many of those out there, but uh, the oil information is not in there. That's just uh, the design diagrams of all the components. Um, in this black binder, uh, there's, you know, an intro letter. You come in here and there is uh, kind of uh, information that makes up the car. The oil information's not in there. Bunch of nice pictures. And you head on back behind the pictures. And there is a section about uh, all the information again in this car. Oil information's not in there as well. You have to find, and hopefully you have, the little um, owners, you know, these cars really don't come with an owner guide. Uh, the 2000 uh, regular Mustang uh, owner's manual. Um, it's just this little supplement. And then in the back of this supplement, there's this section here. Maintenance uh, part numbers. You'll see the oil filter, the FL820S, 820S. And then for the refill capacities on the next page, right here, engine oil, let's see, where am I looking right here? Engine oil, 8.5 quarts, eight to, five, eight to nine quarts, they call it 8.5 8 quarts. Got the drain plug back in after draining all the oil out. And uh, now it's time for the filter. I've got the filter just a quarter turn loosened with uh, a uh, standard uh, filter wrench. Then I've got this uh, flexible funnel. I think I got this on Amazon uh, to try and minimize the mess. But uh, just reach up there. Of course, it's hard to do this holding the camera, holding the filter and not knocking this uh, flexible filter or, uh, out. But uh, so yeah, this is spinning and then I'm going to uh, stop filming and I'll resume after I got it off and uh, the oil is draining. All right, using two hands on the filter and the uh, flexible funnel uh, worked like a champ and it's uh, draining all the oil down into my catch pen and not all over the power steering rack and uh, front frame piece there. I always make sure that the uh, rubber seal there comes off with the filter and doesn't stay stuck on the housing up there. Uh, doubling up those uh, rings doesn't work so well for sealing. And I've got the new filter here. Use a little bit of oil on my finger to uh, lube up the oil seal or the rubber seal there. And it's time to screw this sucker on. The question on how tight to make the uh, filter, I've got uh, pretty good grip strength. So I crank it down by hand and then uh, I just do a quarter turn with uh, my filter wrench. Um, you know, you, you don't want them too loose, too tight. Um, you know, just kind of go by feel. Uh, yeah, if your grip strength isn't as, uh, isn't that strong, then uh, maybe do a full turn with the uh, filter wrench. But uh, then obviously uh, when you start it up, check for leaks. 
Time to add oil. Uh, I remember reading that uh, Mobile One was the original oil that uh, Ford put in these cars. 15W50, eight and a half quarts, put it in. It's worth mentioning my technique here for adding uh, less than full jugs. I always start with the, uh, the partial amount first. So three and a half quarts, I start with the first jug. That way if you overshoot by accident, you have a second chance at it. Um, so quarts are on the right there, leaving a quart and a half in the five quart jug, then dump in the full five quarts in the next one. Well, that's it. That's a quick and dirty on changing oil on a 2000 Cobra R. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching. See you next time.